Hello, boys and girls. I am your Uncle Oxford, Oxford P. Nuts. And I want to say welcome to Kids Church today. Good morning. Pastor Randy here. Thanks for joining us for Kids Church Online today. You know, we've been meeting at church and we're doing a bunch of stuff, but I wanted to talk with you because you might not be here. One thing we're talking about today is how God is such a God of variety. You know, you think about God's creation and all that he has done, all that he has created. He has made such unique, novel things because God loves variety. Do you know how many different kinds of animals there are? Do you think it's higher or lower than this? How many different kinds of dogs do you think there are? You think there's more than 150? Thumbs up. 150. Thumbs down. <laughs> how many how many kinds of dogs do you think there are? You know what? There are 344 different species of dogs. Different different types of dogs. 344 different kinds of dogs. Okay, I know some of you like cats better. How many kinds of cats do you think there are? Do you think there's as many as there are dogs? We said there's 344 different breeds of dogs. They have listed that there are 37 different kinds of cats, 37. So not near as many different kinds of cats. Do you know how many different kinds of fish there are? Think about all the oceans and all the lakes, you know how many different kinds of fish? Do you think there's more than a thousand? More or less? More than a thousand kinds of fish? More or less? Well, the answer is that there are 33,600 species of fish. Wow. Think about how many different kinds of fish there are. That's a lot. Even sharks. Some of you like sharks. Do you think there's more than 50 kinds of sharks? More or less? More? There are about 400 different types of sharks. Then how many different kinds of birds? Do you think there's more than 12,000? Let's say 12,000 different kinds of birds. More or less? More or less? Well, they figure out there's about 10,000 different types of birds. A lot of different birds, even just penguins. Do you know how many different kinds of penguins there are? Do you think there's more than 12? More than a dozen different kinds of penguins? More or less? More or less? They figure there's about 18 different species of penguins. Think of all the different things that God has made. God loves variety. You know how many different kinds of apples there are? Different varieties of apples? Do you think there's more than 300? Is there more than 300 or less than 300? More than 300 types of apples or less? The answer is they figure there's 7,500 varieties of apples. Think of all the variety. Even watermelon. I like eating watermelon, especially during the summer months. Do you know how many different types of watermelons there are? Do you think there's more than 50? More than 50? Less than 50. How many different types of watermelons? Do you think there's more or less? Well, the answer is there's about 50. <laughs> 
about 50 different types of watermelons, but, but you don't eat most of them, okay? And I hope that you can enjoy some watermelons during these summer days. Smokey the bear, Smokey the bear, prowling and growling and sniffing the air. He can find a fire before it starts to flame. That's why they call him Smokey. That's how he got his name. And this is how I remember that. Smoke bear, smoke bear, prowl, growl, sniff air, find fire for flame. Why smoke? How name? God loves variety. Aren't you glad you don't have to eat the same thing every day, every meal? We enjoy variety, and God has created variety. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He created everything. God didn't just create a man and then make another man just like him. No, he created a woman. There's variety there, isn't there? Then that man and that woman, they had children. Were those children exactly like the man or exactly like the woman? No, no. God likes variety. Variety is part of God's plan. Two people, no two people are exactly alike. Even if they're twins, they're not exactly the same. God's plan is for variety. Birds they sing, monkeys swing, echoes ring, God on high, stars they shine. Sky with light, leaves they fall, bluebirds call, insects crawl. Oh, the shortness of all our 
our grace and ease. In him we live and move and breathe and have our very being. Nature shows and it extols the greatness of our king. This is why we stand and shout and worship and we sing. Horses lay, otters play, tall trees sway. We bow and pray. Stars and moon, peace and moon, all are made to give God praise. Sunlit rays through the days point the way to God's great grace. Clouds they move, flowers bloom, put a smile upon God's face. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 27, it says, So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God planned for them to be different from each other. Even though he, we were made in his image, or another version says in his likeness, we're created to be like God. And there's different ways that we're like God. I don't think God wears glasses. <laughs> but when a sculptor makes an image that looks like something, it's not exactly the same. It's not a duplicate. Like I said, even two people are not exactly the same. But there's different ways we're like God. Here's one of the things. We have a soul, which is a mind and a will to choose things. And we have emotions. We make plans for the future. We're, we're aware of what happened in the past. We can be focused on the present, but we also look towards the future. This is different than other animals, like a fish. <laughs> you know, they don't swim around thinking, oh, that was really nice doing that yesterday. And I think maybe I'll go visit my Uncle Nemo. <laughs> right? No, no, but God has given us a mind, a will, emotions. He's given us a soul. God has also created us with an eternal spirit. It's that part of us that's going to live on for an eternity. And God is spirit. And we're going to live on for an eternity with him. Here's another thing. God has given us authority. You know, God has put us in charge of this world. We have to decide what to do with it. We have to take care of it. And God is uh, an authority. He's over all, but he's also given us authority. When God created Adam and Eve and all of mankind, he created us in his image. And another way he did that is that God created Adam and Eve to be pure and holy. God is pure and holy and righteous, and Adam and Eve were pure and holy and righteous before they chose to sin, but they were created in God's image. And when each person is born, you know, there's something in their heart and their soul that is pure and is holy, but as you know, each person has chosen to sin. Thankfully, Jesus paid the price for us so we can have our sins washed away and we can be pure and holy and righteous once again, just as God is pure and holy. Do you like to color? I have a coloring book here. It's all, all different types of animals in here that, that you could choose to color. We talked about how God has created such a variety in the animal kingdom. Now, if you decided to color, but you, well, and if you just picked out one crayon though, and you just colored the whole page that color, not a lot of variety there. I was thinking about this. God loves it when we praise and worship him. And you can do it in more than one way. You can lift your hands. You can clap your hands. You can uh, bow before him. You can stand. You can dance before the Lord. You can sing. You can shout. There's so many different ways that we can praise and worship him. 
And God loves you so much, and we can show our love to him in a variety of ways. And I encourage you, you know, sometimes kids are like, oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, no, try a variety of ways to worship God. And then what you want to do is you say, Lord, I give you my heart. And Lord, just from my heart, I give forth my praise in a variety of ways. People wonder about how God created the heavens and the earth. And I don't have all of the answers, but I know this. In Genesis 127, it says that God made man in his likeness. That means that we were not created like monkeys. <laughs> no, God made humans. I understand that everything changes, but one animal doesn't become another kind of animal. There's big questions about this. Some people think that maybe the universe just came from like this pile of goo and then everything just started getting better and better and better until finally we have this entire universe. That doesn't make any sense because as you know, things don't get better, they get worse. When you set an apple down and you leave it for a week, is it better after a week? No, it's worse. If you leave it there for a month, well, leave it there for three months and ew, it basically becomes like a pile of goo. Things don't just naturally get better by themselves. So we understand that God is one that can actually answer our questions. Some people say, well, there was this big bang. There was this stuff floating around in the universe and then it just all came together and exploded and became the planets and everything else. Well, maybe there was some stuff and then God spoke and bang, God created the universe, but it didn't just happen by chance. How do I know this? Well, because the Bible, see, the Bible to answers my questions. I can know what God's plan is. God answers my questions. Hey, now, I'm going to take all of these cards here like this, okay? How do we know the truth? We spell T-R-U-T-H. H, this is the one. This is how we know the truth. God's plan is made known to us because of what he has done and what he has accomplished. So all these other questions that we have can be answered through God's word. Here, I'm going to mix these up. I'm going to put one over here. 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 That way we just mix them up, okay? God's truth, T-R-U-T-H. How do we know what is true? How do we know? How do we know what is right? Well, through God's word. God has made you special. You're part of his creation. There's nobody else like you, and that's God's plan. You are special just the way you are. God loves variety, and you're one of those one-of-a-kind creations that God has made. You can take joy in that. Let me pray for you today. Lord, we love you so much. Thank you for making each of us unique, each of us special. 
Each of us have things that are different from any other part of creation, and that's your plan. We know that makes you happy. And so, Lord, help us to sense your love today, knowing that you've created each one of us in your image, making us special. We love you, Lord, and thank you for all your many, many variety of blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you now. Have a great day. Hey, we have a bunch of activity pages that we've been doing to help reinforce what we've been talking about. These are things that kids are getting when they're at church. I will post them so you can print them off and use them at home also. Have a great day.